hello, hello. Hello. Welcome hello. back to It's a Mom's Life right Welcome. here on Active FM. It's been an awesome week. Yeah. And it's been a great one to come back with you here and just like, you know, have a little bit of a chat. Especially since uh, last week we were, you know, getting a little bit intense with yes. some stuff, right? On the discussions around Disney and the new content that is polluting the minds of our kids. That's mm-hmm. exactly what Disney's doing. Definitely a must listen, especially if you are, you know, not aware of what your kids are watching. Yeah, very good. Yes, and we live in a time, Denise. And before I speak, right, I think we didn't mention that this month we actually are dealing with children. So it's a children's month. That's our theme. That's why we're yeah. talking about everything children, right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought I'll just let you know, moms, because you want to listen to every show this yeah. month. We live in a day where sex is a god. And people <sighs> will do just about anything to push, you know, this agenda so much so that it has come to our children. Yeah. Everything is about sex and sexuality, how you dress, what you do with your body parts. It's so sad to me because there is so much more to human beings than just, you know, sex. And as moms, maybe you've heard this term, you know, children being sexualized and you wonder, but how is that even possible? Yeah, Um, it absolutely freaks me out. You can't even watch a series or a a movie or anything without some sexual content and it's even getting worse in terms of the kids right yeah you could think this is well like you know over the top you know it's it's just underwear no one sees it well they see it your child sees it just like if they see words on a screen or hear words on a screen or see something they see it and they Mm. begin to act like it right just like women wear sexy underwear essentially to feel sexy what stops your child from thinking the same especially when it gets pushed in their faces all the time tv um, magazines you can walk in the shopping mall and it's there it's not it's not covered your passion i felt it (laughs) (laughs) my passion was there moments of silence for all those children it's like yes see (laughs) (laughs) and this one was also very interesting Fashion dolls marketed mm. at six-year-old girls that feature sexualized clothing like fishnet stockings. Yeah. Yeah. This is insane. Myra is six years old. I have a girl. I mean, she should not be thinking or dressing in fishnet stockings at all. It's mm. not normal. <laughs> yeah. Because these dolls that we buy them, because I actually was thinking about it, they are modeling something to our children. Mm. And now this doll is telling my child how they should look like or how they should dress. So even the things that we buy for them like dolls, it might look innocent, but they play with it every day. They're looking at it every day and it's preaching a message to them. Conditions you. It's conditioning them. This is how I need to look like. This is, you know, skinny and fishnetted, which for a six-year-old is a no. No. Um... So, so the one, the one thing is this, or the fourth point here is beauty pageants for little girls, complete with heavy mascara, high heels, and bathing suits. I have seen shows, you know, on this, and it's 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 hugely disturbing. Um, they don't even look like themselves. They are groomed to be fake. These children yeah. are groomed to be fake. They don't even know who they are. Yeah. Um, you know, they have no idea how to be little girls playing with dolls. Just obsess. They, they just obsess about how they, they look. look yeah. It's no longer about I want to play with something. I want to be a child. It's it's about is my bum too big? Is my stomach not flat enough? Is my chest too small? Hey. Uh, it's stupid. Um, and the worst part is half the time. <laughs> Please and, and please listen to to this parents. But half the time, um, the choice it's not the choice of these little girls. Mm. It's actually not their choice. They don't look at it and go, "I want to be like that." They don't do that. It's actually the parents. It's very good. Um, that push them into this psychologically. This is not normal. Your child will grow up to to think of of a a you know life as as something fake and amazing and pretty and gorgeous and i must be like like doll but they will get brought down very quickly with the realization that people will not um people will still be people and be horrible 
No, absolutely. And the last but not least, there was just so much um, to pull out from this. Maybe we we can do it again later on at some yeah. point, but it's it's really a lot. The, the last point that we will discuss now is pornography and sexually explicit music videos that feature young women dressed to resemble little girls. And I've seen these music videos like even years ago, not even a recent um, music video, where these girls, like young girls, will be dressed in you know bunny ears and they'll be putting they'll have pacifiers in their mouth and they'll be wearing little childish little clothing yeah. like i didn't think much of it back wow. then so i've the fact that this has been happening for a long time i was like oh my goodness we even had a movie on netflix for young girls i don't even remember the name of the movie because that movie was terrible it was girls between the ages of 12 13 like even younger they might even be 10 some of them but they were dressed not like children and they were dancing these dance moves that children should not even be dancing yeah it just made my stomach turn because a lot of pa parents um were actually saying this movie is a no-no because children should not even be exposed to such things yeah. so I, I was glad that a lot of parents actually stood up against that movie and um it was taken down eventually after a lot of them were signing away or signing yeah. you know yeah so it's it's not a good thing to expose children to sorry so just on there it's like it's it's and it actually brings us picture into two ways it's the kids you know um dressing up like adults thinking it's okay yeah. and then it's the adults dressing up like kids which makes the kids think oh look the adults are dressing up like me so that's how hey. i should look and it's like no it's like yeah it's just psychologically not good eh? i yeah, know it's it's crazy we're going to end off with this amazing verse from Philippians 4, verse 24. It says, And put on the new self, created Amen. after the likeness of God, in true righteousness and holiness. I love the fact that it says put on. I mean, we all put on clothing, right? Yeah. We don't all stand in front of the closet and clothes come flying out and they come on to us. It doesn't happen like that. We have to put them on. We have to physically do something ourselves to grab the items and put them on our body. And I love that it says we need to put on our new nature. Yeah. That we're putting or we're making a decision. It is a conscious decision that I'm putting on my new nature that is created after the likeness of god in true righteousness and holiness just like our father i mean in, in the church recently we've been looking at romans 12 which speaks of not conforming to the standards of this world and being transformed by the renewing of our mind yes we walk in righteousness and holiness and how do yeah. we do that we do that by putting on the new man that we don't take on the old things that the world has been teaching us but we put on the new man created after god's likeness and true righteousness and holiness that's good that's good um you know praying over your kids daily um that they would find their identity in yeah. Christ, especially the younger ones that don't know, you know, these Bible verses and they don't know how to interpret them. It's our responsibility to interpret them, yeah. interpret it to them and um, in ways that, that they can understand, you know. So um, we hope that you enjoyed the show yeah. today. We hope that there was, it was enlightening, op eye opening. Yeah. I know it was for me. No, and, um, you know, we, we, it doesn't have to only happen with girls. It can happen with yeah. boys as well. But, but yes, we will probably get onto another intense topic next week. So yeah. maybe we should try and make something lighter. <laughs> I'm like starting to, At yes. some point, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yes, that's it from It's a Mom's Life from myself, <laughs> from Tandor. Tandor, you want to say goodbye? Is anything Good else? Goodbye. Go. Not We will live, laugh and love on Active FM. So check us out on Facebook, please. We will see you next week. Next week.